everyone, my name's Michael and welcome back to another episode of Amarok Weekenderlander. On this episode we're going to talk about how I pack all my bedding in that tent. It's one of the main questions I get asked about an iCamper, just how much can you fit in there and how do you pack it? Because if you pack it wrong there's no space at all and this is something that I feel like I've only just recently mastered despite owning this tent for over a year now. So I'm going to take you inside the tent for this one and show you how I pack, what I pack and my top tips to make sure that you can get your bedding in there so that you are ready to go whenever you want to. Welcome to the inside of my iCamper SkyCamp Mini 3.0 but as you can see my flooring is carpeted this is something I've done it's not something that comes on the iCamper as standard I've just done this because I like the feel of it and it also is nicer on your knees when you're crawling around which will come in very handy when we're coming to pack this tent up. So I'm starting with an empty tent. The only thing that is in here at the minute is I keep some stuff in here. There's like some earplugs, there's a remote for these LEDs around here. More on these in a future video because these ones are kaput. So they are getting changed um, for something a bit different which I really quite like the look of. And that's pretty much all that stays in here other than my bedding. So on the topic of bedding, it uh, is important to preface that I do have the iCamper RTT Comfort Mattress, so everything that I'm going to talk about is relevant to having that in this tent. The standard mattress I don't think is good enough for the, the, the price that we pay for these tents. It's my only real complaint about the tent, but I'm going to talk about how I pack my bedding in here, what I pack, and how that I can still manage to close the tent. So I'm going to get things in here one by one, and the most important bit is where you place things, and I will go outside the tent at some point and show you why that's important, but first let's get the bedding in here and I will pack it how how I would normally pack it is if I'm done for the day closing up the tent and going off to a new site. So for me the key first bit of a good packed eye camper is um, a well deflated RTT comfort mattress so that would normally live way back here okay as far back as it can go you do also need to make sure you won't be able to see it but down here I need to make sure that this is forward enough of the flap so that when I put the folding panel it has space to go to getting as much air out of this as possible is what gives us the space for that flap to close properly you will also notice this back bit along here this is going to be key to getting as much stuff in as possible so that's the first bit got the well deflated rtt comfort mattress if you have the standard one you put the bigger one there you put the fold out panel there and then send it as far back as possible remember the key here is getting everything as far back in the tent as possible so next for me is pillows Right, so pillows, the one thing that I'm kind of not really willing to sacrifice when it comes to having a good night's sleep. So we have proper pillows. I don't like camp pillows. I don't like inflatable pillows. These are proper sort of bed pillows that you would have at home. How these get packed is I put two on each side because we're really bougie and we like two each. So I have two in here. These are our bedding from home. As you can see here, again, the most important bit is getting them as far back as possible. Flat's not really as important we need to get them north of that strut because that strut needs space down here to close in when it goes and then everything else goes back and that hinge helps compress everything when it goes down. You can see those are two quite big pillows and they fit in here no problem. So now I've got four proper pillows in here, not like I say, I, I don't like inflatable pillows, I don't like memory foam pillows. These are just proper pillows. If you want specific ones, they are the ones that you can buy is if you've been to a Premier Inn, which is a hotel in the UK, which despite being a budget hotel, has exceptionally good pillows. Not sponsored, would love to be sponsored. If Premier Inn somehow watches this video, please send me some more pillows, I love them. But yeah, so they're my four pillows. So now I'm gonna get my sleeping bags. We use two three season sleeping bags. Um, I don't like sleeping in the bag. So what I do is I unzip it and then I use it as a duvet because this does, um, this RTT mattress does have a R value. Um, which I can't remember, but I'll probably put it on screen at this point. It is insulated though, so has some warmth from underneath. Um, and I do think the, the carpeted floor has helped a little bit as well. Like I say, three season sleeping bag, which I sleep under. And then if it gets really cold, I can zip it back up into a bag and sleep in that way. So let me go and get that and I'll show you how they go. So on sleeping bags, um, I don't have particularly expensive sleeping bags. Um, they're not down there, synthetic fill. I would like a down bag. Eventually, I really would like one of the eye camper ones. Um, so that is on the list at some point to acquire. So these are 
pretty cheap bags so they're not known for their pack size i've just pulled one of them out of its storage bag this is its pack down size so it's not tiny but it's not huge either so it is key but these are three season bags so i will show you how they go they are zipped up it makes it a bit easier to manage so tuck them in and again it's all about tucking it as far back as possible the further back it goes the better so back in the storage hump area and then i'll do the same with this one i put the hood at the top just because that's the sort of the thicker bit um but again we don't really use these as, as proper bags so tuck that in as far back as it goes and that's it that's how i pack ready to to fold so there is a an area here for the strut to close and an area there for the strut to close uh, you know those bags are oh, yes they're in the way but they're very small so it doesn't really massively impact it but it's all about getting it back not necessarily down but back and um, there is a bigger area here for the storage hump i do have a fan that i sometimes keep in here i just i can't remember where it is at the minute but the fan would just sort of live on there and it compresses and everything else and now this is ready to fold so let's go back outside the tent and i will show you how i fold it up with all the bedding in right now it's closing time there's nothing particularly special about how you've got to close it with bedding inside you just close it as normal because you've done all the hard work by packing it properly in the first place so i'm going to start closing this up i'm not going to go all the way in one take because there's little bits and pieces that i want to stop and show you as i go through but we're just going to start closing it as we normally would by taking out the tension folds first remove these Remove the bungee cords, get rid of the flies, remove the tension poles, remove the tension pole, and then that's the first bit as normal, and then let's get the ladder up and out the way, secure that with the strap, and push that back over. in right so the reason why i've stopped here is to talk about this bit so really our bedding is in this area of the tent here because when that flap comes back in it stops about here so we need to make sure that that can lie as flat as possible and that's what makes closing the tent easier so your bedding is about sort of here backwards the storage hump on the on the 3.0 model is here so now when we close it the, the hinge will help compress everything and it'll fold in easier because the flaps there um this was something i didn't really realize until i watched the eye camper tutorial um so i'm going to put some screenshots and stuff in there because they have a, a sort of a they've taken the the fly sheet off their tent and that's just not something i'm prepared to do in this location um so you can see the point i'm going to make a lot easier and it's about making sure that that folding flap hat can lie as flat as possible because then that gives area for this part of the tent to cinch in it's still not you know 100 percent perfect you might have to do a little bit of stuffing but what roof tent doesn't so now that we've got that understanding of why we come this far back i'm going to show you how i can close it from the front and then you can understand sort of just how much everything is in there. everything is still in there the deflated mattress four pillows four proper pillows and two three season sleeping bags so let's get it folded up and i'll show you how it goes from there so with the ladder foot protection on we're ready just to close down so you grab these two to cinch in the sides this one's the big strap from the top so as you pull that in cinch in from the sides do it slowly so that the air can come out keep cinching See, I'm not really putting a lot of weight on there at all. So, I pull these straps in, get that down a little bit, tuck the straps in. And that's why we make sure that the mattress is far enough back so that I've got space for, the, for sort of this area here. So, my straps are in. I'm gonna just double check the sides. With bedding in, this does have the, the sort of potential to spring back upwards. So just keep a hold of it whilst you're tucking any last little bits there's not a lot to do and then we can just close all the way help that air get out as we go squeeze it all the way down get your keys for the lock so there you go that's now locked on there just press it and cinch it down pulls itself down and now I can do this one a lot easier because that tension's been taken off. And that's it. There is, remember, 
a deflated RTT comfort mattress, which inflates to four inches, four proper household bedroom pillows, and two three season sleeping bags in there. So all I need to do is add a pump, which stays in this car at all times. And that's my sleep system done and ready. So wherever I go, I have somewhere to sleep. So then I've got my full sleep system in here. So that's me done and ready. You can see, yes, I had a little bit of a, a fiddle on with the, the locks, but that was just me rushing it to film it. But you, it was still quite easy. Um, there is a lot of sort of bedding in here for what you've got. This will handle the majority of UK weather. Like I say, we're packed and it's all about how you pack it properly. So make sure when you pack it, it's packed properly. And you can get everything inside like I just did. So I've got one more tip if you want to make that even just that little bit easier and it's probably quite obvious is vacuum bags. There are two pillows in there. This is how I used to do it before I learned how to pack the tent properly. The reason why I've moved away from vacuum bags is it got a little bit tedious if you're moving site every night. We've just come back from a trip where we did six different spots in six different nights and vacuum bagging these every night would be fine but it would just be a little bit tedious and kind of defeats the point of the quick pack away of the eye camper but this is vacuumed with the flex tail gear pump that i use to inflate the mattress so i don't have to bring anything extra and as you can see it's really quite thin so if you put that up in the tent in the way that we've just packed them ones it would close even easier so I do make sure that I have the bags with me, so that's just something else to bear in mind. Vacuum bags, I do like them. You could vacuum bag your sleeping bag as well to make it even thinner. These might be more necessary if you've still got the standard memory foam mattress from iCamper, because obviously that's a bit thicker. I think that's three inches, but then obviously you've got two bits because it's then um, the two panels for the fold out and this one. So you've got them stacked on top of each other. So you do lose a little bit of room using that. Um, and that's just part and parcel of the design. So that is something to bear in mind. So that's it. That's how I pack all of my bedding inside my iCamper Skycap Mini. So just as a recap, I've got two three season sleeping bags, four proper household bedroom pillows, and obviously that deflated RTT iCamper Comfort mattress. It's far from perfect. You can see there was a little bit of difficulty there. Um, a down sleeping bag might help because then that would compress even more. That is something that's on the list eventually, but it's not necessarily something that I'm gonna rush out and buy because this works perfectly as it is. So hopefully this video has helped you realize just what you can pack inside your RTT. There are people out there who pack jackeries and battery packs and everything inside their tent. So it can be done. You've just gotta be a little bit clever. And the, the motto of packing an eye camper effectively is get everything back towards the hinge when it comes to a sky camp because that's where the space is because that fold out panel needs to shut so make sure that that's what you're doing you can fit everything in and like i say that gets you adventure ready so that all you need to do is make sure you've got a pump and you've got a good night's sleep waiting to go you've got a warm dark um, and comfortable tent that you can sleep in pretty much anywhere that is legal to do so so make sure that you've got yourself ready pack sensibly and you can get everything in there Thank you very much for watching again today. And if you think I've earned it, drop me a subscription and a like rating. It would really, really help um, this channel grow. If it's appropriate for any products to be linked in the description, they will be. They will be affiliate links, and that means it doesn't cost any more for you, but I just get a tiny little percentage of that sale back from that company as a thank you for me sending you their way. So please check those out. Thank you to anybody who's considering purchase from those descriptions, and a huge thank you to anybody that has. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Share this video amongst everybody on any forums, posts, or anything that you see. Send them my way, and I will be back with you with some more eye camera content very, very shortly. Remember, the best memories are made outdoors, so let's get back out there and have some fun. Cheers. Bye-bye. This one is I'm going to show you how I pack in here. I am using my iPhone on this, so apologies that the footage may not be as good as normal. In fact, let's do a quick test. It might be better without that open. It's a point. Yes, it is. My carpet is... But as you can see, my floor and his carpet are proper pillows. Ooh, they're wobbly. In the tent by packing it properly. Right, now it's closing time. There's nothing. off. Right, there's nothing. Right, now it's closing time. There's nothing. Open up that lock. Oh, we get in. There's sometimes a little bit of a, a squeeze down, but it never works properly on camera. Let's try the front lock first, because that's a bit tight. 
they will be affiliate links but again that costs nothing more for you but it gives me a little bit of a cook again if there's any products linked if it's appropriate to do so any products will be linked in the description below and they will be affiliate links that means it costs nothing more for you but i get a little bit of a cook you there it costs you if it's appropriate for any products to be linked in the